What is up guys? It's your boy Rick Kakis and today we have a brand new Zer location and inventory review for the weekend of August 4th to the 7th, right after the infamous state of the game. Uh, by the way, a bunch of people are mad at me for not getting more mad at Bungie in yesterday's video, but that was just reporting the information. Tomorrow, I got a video going over the community response in my opinion. That'll be spicy. In any event guys, as for Zer... He is going to be located in the Watcher's Grave on Nessus. All right, let's take a look at what he has. Firstly, for exotics, we have uh, the Merciless. If you don't have this, probably get this. One of the highest DPS weapons in the game. Like, actually pretty fantastic. Ramps up uh, in the rate of fire on a single target. Then we've got a Shinobu's Vow here with uh, 68. And it's Hunter, so the mobility isn't out of place. Now, this is a grenade-focused exotic. We do have 19 Discipline, which isn't bad. Overall, this is a... It's a pretty good exotic piece here. Like, 68 Shinobu's Vow here. I'm, you know what I mean? I, I, gotta, I gotta check that out. Okay, now, as for the Feedback Fence... Okay, 67 Feedback Fence here. With uh, massive resilience... And no more, like this is actually pretty good too. Feedback Fence is not very meta whatsoever, hasn't been for a while. However, if you want to add something to your collections, like this is a very good piece. Now, okay, 67 for the Crown of Tempest here. That's pretty impressive as well. However, this does have way too much uh, mobility. Warlocks don't want that. Now, the recovery is nice. The intellect and strength is nice. However, eh, the first two are significantly better. Now, as for the weaponry, we've got a Shoot to Loot Adagio a Wolf Tone Draw here. Uh, definitely Shoot to Loot is actually a pretty good PvE perk. I don't know uh, quite as much about Adagio. Now, after that, we have the Yon 7 with Full Auto, which uh, unfortunately, completely useless perk. Now you can turn Turn full auto on in the menu, but full auto rampage isn't terrible. We do have a firmly planted Dragonfly 7 Seraph. I know Dragonfly is part of the God rule, however, firmly planted is not. Well, that's interesting. The explosive personality is fantastic. Literally one of the best origin traits for PvE in the entire game, improving damage resistance. Auto-loading holster is exactly what you want. Unbelievable. Part of the God rule, in my opinion. Turnabout isn't. Uh, so if you want an explosive personality, just you want a solar wave frame, this is going to be good. Like, I would recommend getting this. It's not the god roll because turnabout isn't that amazing. You can do better, but you can certainly do a lot worse too. Uh, quick draw trench, no thank you. Killing wing multi, multi kill clip, no thank you. Field prep rampage. Rampage is definitely good. Field prep definitely isn't. And then on the back here, we have the hawk moon here with a moving target. Not really a big fan of that, to be honest. I feel like you can do better. Um, the barrel that will increase the range, you know, that's not terrible. Again, could do better. Subsistence, DMT, no thank you. Now let's take a look at the armor here. Uh, firstly, for the set, uh, let's take a look at the rarity on light.gg. So this set was added back in season 13, and according to light.gg, around 40% of guardians have this. So it's classified as rare, but it is definitely a more common set. Now in terms of the stats of these sets, 59, not very good, uh, 60, not spiky where I want it to be, 60, extremely spiky here with recovery being featured, I mean, if you masterwork that, right, that's plus two, that's 30 recovery, three tiers right there, however, how much does a titan want recovery, it may be if you're doing PvP, so not a terrible piece, but definitely could do better for the titan, uh, 61, not too spiky at all, guys, let's check the hunter. All right, I usually do Warlock next, but I said Hunter, so we're on the Hunter here. Let's check the Gauntlets. Uh, 62 with a huge mobility spike. Honestly, not bad here. Uh, then we've got uh, 59, not really too spiky. Then we've got another 59, kind of average spikes. 58, pretty average. Let's check the Warlock. All right, for the Warlock, first of all, since I finally have room for my gauntlets, I'm going to pick this up. Uh, it's a situation where, again, these are not very good right now, but Bungie has confirmed that they're buffing exotic armor, and this would be a prime candidate to get buffed, and it's such a fantastic role, you, you probably want to have access to this thing. Now, as for the Warlock armor, uh, 59, not great. 58, very spiky recovery and strength, but again, a little low. Uh, 61 with a massive mobility spike. If you want to be the fastest warlock ever, you get this. And then 60, not too spiky. So overall,
overall, guys, a pretty average weekend except for these two exotics. I think both of these, like 68 Shinobu's Vow, 67 Feedback Fence, like I think both of these are probably, if you have the Legendary Shards, worth getting. That's it for the video. Hope you enjoyed and found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That's linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.